ndege wa angani wanashangilia nasi bwana twakwa budu samaki barini wana kuinua hello how are you ndege wa angani wako abudu sisi wanao kenya twakuinua twakutukuza wastahili mimi najua najua mkombozi wangu oh anaishi 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 mimi najua najua mkombozi wangu ay 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 anaishi anaishi mimi najua najua mkombozi wangu anaishi 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 mimi najua najua mkombozi wangu anaishi 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 nejoe mohono kia wako ya ya are moyo are moyo are moyo ni nejoe nejoe mohono kia wako are moyo hallelujah are moyo je unamini twajua mkombozi wa kenya anaishi 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 sisi twajua twajua mkombozi wa kenya Oh anaishi haleluya anaishi je wewe wajua wajua mkombozi wetu Kenya anaishi anaishi na jeni wa ukweli ndio anaishi wajuaje najua nina hakika mkombozi wetu Kenya oh, oh anaishi haleluya anaishi je wajua aha najua mkombozi wa Kenya <laughs> oh anaishi 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 nimetambua najua nina uhakika mkombozi wa Kenya he hey. anaishi yeah, yeah, yeah. anaishi tawala roho wa Mungu tawala tawala roho zetu tawala tawala roho wa Mungu wetu tawala o tawala mioyo ni mwetu tawala 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 roho wa Mungu wetu tawala 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 mioyo ni mwetu tawala 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 roho wa Mungu tawala 
Tawala, tawala. Maisha ni mwetu tawala. Tawala inchi yetu Kenya. Tawala mawazo ya watu wetu. Tawala mioyo ya watu wetu. Tawala roho wa Mungu tawala. Tawala inchi yetu ya Kenya tawala. Tawala watu wetu wa Kenya tawala. Tawala mawazo na mioyo tawala. Tawala roho wa Mungu tawala. Tawala roho wa Mungu tawala. Tawala tawala Kenya tawala. Oh tawala roho wa Mungu tawala. Tawala mienendo yetu tawala roho tawala chukua usukani tawala roho wa Mungu wetu tawala 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 mawazo yetu mienendo yetu tawala 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 mienendo yetu tawala roho wa Mungu tawala tunaomba ututawale tawala watu wetu tawala tawala wakubwa wetu tawala tawala makanisa yetu tawala tawala wazazi wetu tawala tawala watoto wetu tawala tawala kazi zetu tawala tawala na mali yetu tawala roho wa Mungu tawala tawala roho wa Mungu tawala oh, oh. tawala tunakuomba ututawale tawala tawala roho wa Mungu tawala 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 roho wa Mungu tawala tumekuja mbele zako ututawale tawala mioyo yetu tawala roho wa Mungu tawala na mioyo yetu tawala tawala roho tawala tumekupea mioyo yetu tawale tawala tawala roho wa Mungu tawala baba katika jina lako Yesu Kristo tunakupa sifa na utukufu kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu Umekuwa Mungu mwaminifu maisha ni mwetu. Umekuwa kimbilio letu Bwana. Tumekukimbilia Bwana tukapata kupona. Tumekukimbilia Bwana tukapata usaidizi. Tumekukimbilia Bwana ukatukumbatia na mkono wako Bwana na tupo salama mikononi mwako Bwana. Nchi yetu ya Kenya Bwana tunakupa sifa. Nchi yetu ya Kenya Bwana tunakuinua. Nchi yetu ya Kenya Bwana tunaomba ukatutawale yawe. Tutawale mawazo yetu, tawala uwezo wetu wa kufikiria, tawala mioyo yetu, tawala tawala nafsi zetu tawala vinywa vyetu tawala mawazo na fikira zetu tawala roho wa Mungu ukayaondoe maneno machafu kwenye vinywa vyetu roho wa Mungu ukayaondoe mawazo mabaya kwenye akili zetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana tunaomba utakatifu wako wa mawazo ukatuingia sasa sisi wa Kenya na tukaweza Bwana kutembea katika utakatifu wa mawazo tunaomba Bwana kaweze Bwana kutufikishia neema yako rehema zako Bwana juu ya maisha yetu Bwana tunaomba ambapo Bwana hakuna amani ukaweze kuwe 
wataka amani kwa sababu wewe ndiwe mfalme ambaye Bwana ni wewe mfalme wa amani. Tunaomba amani, tunaomba hekima, tunaomba maarifa, tunaomba kuelewa kwa sababu Bwana pasipo wewe sisi ni bure. Pasipo wewe Bwana sisi hatuwezi. Pasipo mkono wako Bwana sisi ni bure. Ndio maana Bwana tunakuomba kwa moyo mmoja kwa sauti moja kwa roho moja bwana kaweze kutusaidia kila mmoja wetu bwana kwanzio president bwana hadi mtoto ambaye hajazaliwa nchi ya Kenya tunaomba kutawaliwa na wewe bwana hakuna uliyetawala bwana alikosa kufika sehemu ambao bwana ulipaka mafuta kwamba ataifika kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu ukiongoza wana wa Israeli bwana walifika yawe tunaomba tuongoze sisi watoto wako nchi yetu ya Kenya tuweze kufika katika sehemu yetu ya pumziko kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu bwana Kumbuka nchi yetu bwana kumbuka nchi yetu bwana kumbuka bwana wakimbizi wako nchi yetu wanaolia kila siku wakituomba tukae kwa amani ili bwana wasikose mahala pa kukaa Mungu bwana wa majeshi tunaweza tukasahau kwa sababu tuna nyumba zetu tunaishi bwana lakini kuna wakimbizi ambao hawajui watakwenda wapi bwana e bwana wa majeshi ukatuhurumie na kutusamea makosa ya kila na Bwana na kuiponya nchi yetu Bwana na ikawa sehemu nzuri na nchi nzuri yenye amani na furaha na utajiri kwa sababu Bwana yako kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu wetu Bwana ukauinue mkono wako na kutuokoa wakati huu kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu Tunayo matumaini makubwa kwamba Bwana upo pamoja nasi. Tunayo matumaini makubwa kwamba Bwana anatuongoza. Tunayo matumaini makubwa Bwana kwamba ukinena umesha nena. Ndio Bwana, tunayo matumaini katika ahadi zako ambazo ni za kweli ndio zinadumu milele. Tunakupa sifa na utukufu na ni kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu na utabaki kuwa Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini amen and amen and amen kama mvua ishukavyo toka mbinguni kwenye ardhi na neno lake kwa kinywa changu halitarudi bure Litatimiza mapenzi yake litatenda alivyosema aliyahidi atatenda tumainie bwana kama mvua ishukavyo toka mbinguni kwenye ardhi na neno lake kwa kinywa chake halitarudi bure litatimiza mapenzi yake litatenda alivyosema aliyahidi atatenda tenda tu mainie bwana kama mvua ishukavyo toka mbinguni kwenye ardhi na neno lake kwa kinywa chake halitarudi bure litatimiza mapenzi yake litatenda alivyosema aliyahidi atatenda mtumainie bwana nafsi yangu usichoke roho yangu msifu bwana aliyahidi atatenda mtumainie bwana Fadhili zake ni za akiahidi atatenda moyo wangu msifu bwana furahie bwana ewe Kenya sikia bwana aliyoahidi atatenda si mwanadamu aombe msamaha vumilia hadi ni za kweli hadi zake ni za milele akiahidi atatenda moyo wangu nafsi yangu 
to my neighbor. Oh, come on, Vua, O oh, kwenye athi na neno lake kwa kinywa chake havitarudi bure o oh, vitatimiza mapenzi yake itatenda alivyosema aliahidi atatenda tumainie bwana o oh, kama mvua ishukavyo toka mbinguni kwenye ardhi na neno lake kwa kinywa chake halitarudi bure o oh, litatimiza mapenzi yake litatenda alivyosema aliahidi atatenda tu mainie bwana aliahidi atatenda tutamtumainia bwana moyo wako usitikisike wala usiwe na hofu hauwezi kama mtu ambaye ana imani alafu baadaye unalizwa na uoga you can never be somebody who is walking by faith as a time as i said at the same time you are led by anxiety anxiety and confidence have never worked together confidence cannot it cannot take anxiety with him because confidence is confidence hallelujah you cannot say the lord shall do it and then you are there walking in fear you cannot say the lord is going i believe god is going to do this but all the time you are unatetemeka you are trembling with fear anxiety praise the name of the lord you can never walk with the two things anxiety and faith never faith and, and anxiety they are enemies because faith does not want anxiety around her praise the name of the lord imani haitaki kabisa uoga haipendi kabisa muoga watu wa imani lazima tujue vizuri sana if you have faith in god Hawezi ukatembea na huyo dada ambaye anaitwa imani na huyo dada mwingine muoga no yule dada wa imani atakataa muoga hakuna mtu atakubali kutembea na muoga praise the name of the lord and you cannot declare the greatness of the lord at the same time unaogopa Mungu aliwamaliza waoga katika jangwa praise the name of the lord kwa sababu Mungu hatembei na waoga ikiwa ni kumwamini Mungu muamini Mungu ikiwa ni uoga na kuongoza ukae na uoga huko na usituambie lakini usikuwe leo unasema hey, the lord shall do it amen amen and then the other time unaenda kwa post zako unaanza ku, ku, ku post uoga no do not sell uoga to us we don't want to buy fear we don't want anxiety at all we want to speak against the spirit of anxiety hallelujah We have two days to go off to elections and it shall be well with the righteous hallelujah them that knows their god shall walk in exploits watatembea kwa ushujaa watatembea kwa ushindi hauwezi ukamtumainia Mungu na kuingiwa na uoga it is either you walk in that fear anxiety or you walk with the fear of god of knowing that he that is leading me he is going to make it for me you cannot be led by god arafu unaanza kusema mimi niko na uoga i don't know what is going to happen later i don't know what is going to happen later no fear does not work with faith praise the name of the lord those two f's does not work together faith and fear Mm-mm. it is either of them sasa wewe hebu jichunguze ndani yako kama kama mtoto wa Mungu kama mkenya maana leo hatuongei kikabila hatuongei kikabila wala hatuongei na na kisiasa wala nini lakini kama umekuwa kimuomba Mungu mahala popote ambapo umekuwa kimuombea Mungu vivyote vile umekuwa kimtumainia Mungu kuhusu usiingiwe na uoga kama unamjua Mungu wako usiingiwe na uoga how is 
uwezi uwezi ukatembea kwa kwa kwa, kwa ujasiri at the same time unatembea kwa uoga Bwana akamwambia Joshua Joshua nimekuamurisha wewe mara ngapi usiwe mtu wa uoga ukawa na ujasiri mm. Mungu akamuuliza hivyo Joshua have I not commanded you to be strong of and of courage kama yake Mungu atembei na waoga Praise the name of the Lord Tunataka kukemea roho ya uoga ambayo inaitwa spirit of anxiety Uoga ambao unaweza kusababisha safari yako ikakatizwa ghafla. Praise the name of the Lord. Anxiety tuliona kwamba ni roho ambayo inaogopa vitu visivyokuwepo. Praise the name of the Lord. You know you know you know faith faith is believing things which are not as if they are. And that is why faith will never agree with anxiety because anxiety is fearing things which are unknown they can never work together because this sister here who, his name is is faith anatembea akisema mimi nina imani kwamba amani na maendeleo na baraka katika nchi ya Kenya tutakwenda kushuhudia afu kuna muoga mwingine hapa anaitwa anxiety ambaye hajui kesho itakuwaje hajui hana vision mtu ambaye ana, ana, ana roho ya anxiety anakuwa vision anakuwa visionless anakuwa blind anategemea watu wanasema nini akiona KTN imerusha ka vitu ka uoga anatetemeka hivi kwa nini kwa sababu hana mwelekeo hana vision hajaandika vision ya Kenya acha niniwaambie kuna rais nchi ya Kenya na kuna huyo mkubwa ambao ni wa opposition hawata determine maisha yetu maisha yetu sisi kama walokole itaditamainiwa na wewe mwenyewe vile utakaa chini uchore maisha ya Kenya itakavyokuwa Bwana pe sifa ukae chini kama mkenya na karatasi na kalamu useme Kenya shall be peaceful na kama wewe sio mpenda amani utaandika Kenya hakutakuwa na amani lakini kuna kitu kimoja nataka kukuambia wewe ambaye unasema Kenya haitakuwa na amani kwamba Mungu ndiye mfalme wa amani. Kwa hiyo saa zile unasema Kenya haitakuwa na amani unamaanisha Mungu hata kuwepo Kenya na hautafaulu. You will not succeed. You can never succeed kukanyagilia kazi ya Mungu chini. Huwezi kukusucceed kukanyagia Mungu chini. At you are trampling on God, you know. Eh, hey, aliahidi atatenda eh, hey, atatenda, atatenda. Kenya lazima kiumane. Kenya lazima kiumane. Hakitaumana. Hakitaumana katika jina la Yesu. Maki kikiumana utaumia na sisi tutaumia. Hasa inabaki yule mama ambaye alikuwa mwenye mtoto nasema no, usimkate mtoto. Heri ukampa mtoto niwe nikimuona. Maki yule ni mama mwenye mtoto. Lakini mtu ambaye hana Kenya kama mtoto wake ataamua Kenya ichomeke. Ataamua Kenya kiumane kwa sababu Kenya haiko ndani yake. Lakini kunaye Mungu ambaye anaitwa mfalme wa ajabu, mpiganaji vita dhidi ya maadui za watoto wake. Na tunapomuomba Mungu na kumtumainia mambo makubwa, Kenya inakwenda kusimama kwa amani, maendeleo tunapata raisi katika jina la Yesu tutafurahia tutaishi kwa amani tutaishi kwa upendo bila ukabila we will not fight again this spirit of tribalism tunai tunai tunaikemea katika jina la Yesu he spirit ya 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 ya, ya ukabila ambaye hawezi ukafanya chochote u, kabla haujaangalia jina la mtu la mwisho linasema nini. Huu kabila unakuisha katika jina la Yesu. Bwana apewe sifa. Anxiety tunaikanyagia chini, maana lazima tutoboe haya maisha by fire, by force in Jesus name. Bwana apewe sifa. Kumtegemea mokozi kwangu tamu kabisa kuamini neno lake
ke ni nara hamoyo ni kumtege me amokozi kwangu tamu kabisa kuamini neno lake ni nara hamoyo ni yesu yesu na muamini ni memwona thabiti yesu yesu you the money ahadi zake kweli yesu yesu na muamini ni memwona thabiti yesu yesu you the money ahadi zake kweli kumtegemea yesu kwangu safi tamu kabisa kuamini neno lake moyo wangu unafurahi haleluya nazungumzia kuhusu watu ambao wanamwamini Mungu kwa sababu mahubiri kama haya sio ya kila mtu neno la Bwana la aina hii sio la kila mtu Bwana apewe sifa ni watu wengi ambao hawamwamini Mungu ni watu wengi ambao wameokoka lakini kwa sasa wame backslide kwa sababu ya maumuzi yao kwa sababu ya akili zao mawazo yao mafikira yao wakati huu wa siasa na Mungu akaturehemu ni wakati wengi watu wengi sana sasa hivi huu msimu watu wengi sana wameachana na Mungu bila kujua ni watu wengi sasa hivi hawana Mungu ndani yao sasa hivi kwa sababu ya maamuzi ambao wameamua ndani yao kwa sababu ya maneno wanaotamka kutoka kwa vinyo vyao Bwana apewe sifa ni wengi wa walokole sasa hivi hawajaokoka wataokoka baadaye wengi wa walokole sasa hivi hawajaokoka wamemweka Yesu kando kwa nini kwa sababu wanazungumza kinyume na jinsi Yesu anaweza kutaka wao wazungumze Bwana apewe sifa Mungu na aturehemu. The Lord have mercy on us. Mungu wetu wa mbinguni aturehemu. Ni wengi wamemwacha Mungu sasa hivi. Ni wengi hawazungumzi jinsi tunafaa kuzungumza kwa sababu ya mambo na maamuzi na maneno yanayotoka vinywani vyao. Maombi wanaoomba kila siku hayapo katika laini na Mungu. Anybody that is praying against the peace of our land That person is against God. Anyone that is praying against the peace of the land. Either uwe upande wa jubili ama upande wa nasa. Anybody that is praying against the peace of our land is praying against God. Maake Mungu ni mfalme wa amani. Maandiko yanasema amebarikiwa mtu yule ambaye hutafuta amani na huyo mtu ataiona mbingu ambaye mtu ambaye anatafuta amani ni mtu mpenda roho ya Mungu ni mtu ambaye anampenda Mungu Mungu akamtolea a uh, 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 David a uh, uh, testimony akasema he is a man after my own heart Tukashangaa mbona he is a man after God's heart na vile alikuwa na huo watu. Why? Mbona Mungu akamtolea ushuhuda? He is a man after my own heart. Ni kwa sababu uh, David had a heart of God of peace. Daudi alipewa muda wa kumuua Saul. Mungu akamwachilia kabisa King Saul. Unajua? Na unajua Mungu akisha kukuletea adui ni sasa wewe ujue vile utadili na huyo adui. Ukimhurumia iwe ni Mungu amekwambia umhurumie. Maana kuna siku Joshua alitumwa aende vitani. Joshua alitumwa aende vitani na Mungu na Mungu akamwambia, "Joshua utakapofika kule, uwe watoto wao, uwe wake zao, uwe kila kitu. Actually ile kitu tachukua ni mifigo, mifugo. But anybody else starting with their husbands their wives and their children kill all of them nyinyi mnafikiria kwamba mungu haui that's what we think 
eh mungu ni mungu ana huruma sana kaiwi todagi uragado mungu awezi uwa soma maandiko soma maandiko ukikataa kumsikia mungu anatumana kwa sababu yako alitumana kwa sababu ya Ahab akataka kumua Ahab ukisoma katika kitabu cha Samuel utasoma huko kitabu cha Samuel usikie Mungu akauliza hivi ni nani atakaye nisaidia mbinguni kwa mkutano akauliza kwa mkutano mkubwa maana Mungu hufanya mikutano mbinguni akauliza hivi ni nani atakaye nisaidia ninataka kumuua Ahab who is going to help me because i want to kill this wicked man the bible says a spirit spoke to god na ikamwambia Mungu mimi nitakusaidia na ile roho ikaulizo wewe utanisaidia na nini? Akasema mimi nitageuka kuwa roho wa uongo. Ehe, alafu nitaingia manabii wote 830 na wataongea uongo. Watasema kwamba nimesema mkutane mlimani mkapigana na Jelad, kwamba wewe Mungu uko pamoja na, na yeye. Mungu akaona wow, that's a deal. Hapa kamwambia akienda mlimani wewe ndio utajua vile utafanya na yeye. Basi siku ikafika. Nakupatia story ambao pengine hujakuwa mna muda wa kusoma na sijui wanao cheka wanamaanisha nini. Kwa sababu this is not a laughing matter. It is a very serious matter. Bwana pwe sifa. Siku kama mnafinya kicheko kwa kwa kutojua ama mnafinya by mistake kama kuna watu ambao wako kwa mtambo ambao they are sarcastic I don't know. But anyways wako kwa mtambo wacha wasikie ukweli kama wanafinya hiyo kichekwa kwa kwa kuwa sarcastic ni vyema yote ni vyema Mungu hajakuleta hapa bure tu Mungu hajakuleta usikilize kazi ya bure kwa hiyo tuma hizo mavichekwa kabisa as long as utasikia vile Mungu anasema haya wala ma, ma, malaika i mean wale uh, manabii Ahab akaona aende vitani kupigana na Gerard na akaita Jehoshaphat. Nataka usikilize story. Akaita Jehoshaphat. Mfalme rafiki yake. Kwa mfano kama kama nani uh, rais Magfuli wa Tanzania au Mseveni. Akaitwa na president. Au wakaitana au Magfuli akaita president wetu au sijui nani ikawa ndio hivyo yani aliita jirani president jirani akamwambia nataka unipeleke tukapigane na maadui zangu. Jehoshaphat alipoitwa akauliza lakini umeuliza Mungu make Jehoshaphat alikuwa mcha Mungu asingalienda mahala popote na ni mfalme asingalienda mahala popote bila sauti ya Bwana basi akamwambia no wale ma, ma, manabii wote wako hapa manabii 830 wamesema kwamba niende vitani Mungu yuko pamoja nami Jehoshaphat akasikia ndani yake no this is not god ndani yake pamoja na kwamba ni manabii wacha hivyo nyinyi mnafuataga manabii wote facebook manabii wawili watatu wanaongea hivi ukisikia nabii mwingine anaongea hivi unaanza kumtukana kama saizi kuna watu nimebloko kwa facebook na ni watumishi wa Mungu kwa sababu wananikosea heshima na kunikosea heshima kunitaja majina yangu wa viovyo eti kwa sababu ninaambia watu wasinunue anointing oil wanasema kwamba huwa ninanena mambo mabaya kuhusu wachungaji hakuna siku hata moja nitawahi ambia washirika wa kanisa hili la Bwana Yesu waenda wakanunue mafuta wabadilisha na jina la Yesu ni unibandike majina yote uende useme kabisa ninasemaga wachungaji ni wabaya wewe enda ubatize vile utaenda kubatiza lakini watu ambao husikiza nikihubiri wanajua vizuri sana i always say there is no other name that can heal you there is no other name that can deliver you apart from the name of jesus anybody selling you anointing oil in the name ati itaenda kukuponya jua hiyo ni scam na ni business na ni sawa tu wewe mpromote kama wewe ni wa hiyo kanisa wewe mpromote tu lakini ujue hiyo ni uchawi You cannot exchange the name of Jesus with water. You can never exchange the name of of God with anointing oil. The Bible says, it is all when you shall call on my name, I shall answer. Whatever you shall pray by my name, my Father shall do it in heaven. It is never it is never written anything you shall pray in the anointing oil. Anywhere you shall apply anointing oil. Anyways, that was not my business. That was just by the way. So there are people ambao wamenikosea shima na nimewa block na Mungu awafungue macho tu ili wajijue 
na wajue kwamba kuna wakati unaweza kuchukua vita umpige mtu fulani huyo mtu anaamua kukuondokea manake ikifika ni hapo si mimi ninajiambia jina langu liabudiwe sio mimi ninasema jina la Esther Mudhoni linatoa mapepo si jina la Esther Mudhoni lina, lina replace your anointing oil unatambua you, you just you just do your will do what you wish praise the name of the lord anyways Jehoshaphat akauliza mfalme Ahab Ahab wo Iyala wacha ni kwambie Liara on on YouTube there is nothing that is supposed to be used for prayers apart from the name of Jesus that is it anything else is a cult anything else is not biblical it is not what Jesus said and we all want to follow what the name of Jesus and what the word of God says about our lives. If you want to follow what the word of God says, read the word of God. And you will not use this water. Not amount of any hata ukiwekwa kwa ziwa, udumbukizo huo ndani kwa ziwa. Kama naman. Ukifikiria wewe ndio naman wa siku hizi atugeuze ile maji kuwa atibuki watu unawaambia watu wagonjwa waende watumbukie umu watapona ukianza kufanya yale mambo unakuwa unaabudu miungu mingine ni miungu mingine unaabudu tafadhali sita mnogo na go there because that is not what i want to talk about but i'll talk i'll, I'll keep on mentioning that as i go on ahab jehoshaphat akamwambia jehoshaphat mimi wa manabii wote 830 wamesema Mungu amesema niende. Jehoshaphat akamwambia, "Hakuna nabii mwingine amebaki ambaye anasema kitu kingine." Je, na nani Ahab akasema, "Kuna kingine hapo. Hakanitabiriagi mambo mazuri yako. Ha, hako ni kabaya sana." You know, you know when you speak the truth unaitwa hako kinajifanya, hmm? Kinajifanya ikiyo kindio kimeokoka kushinda watu wengine wote when you speak the truth everybody shall hate you you will not have many fans people will hate you because you are telling them the truth and they would rather follow the truth so that they may be set free praise the name of the lord so Joshua fata kasema mwambie huyo nabii aje atuambie vile Mungu anasema Bwana sifiwe. <coughs> I will talk about that next week. Allow me to talk about this word today please. I'll talk about anointing maji nini later. Not at this time. Wacha tu concentrate na kitu moja ndio tuelewe. <coughs> okay? I love you and I love your questions. Akamwambia nenda kamuite basi huyo nabii mmoja amebaki aje atuambie Mungu anasema nini akasema hako unakaamini kakikuja hapa katasema vitu opposite haya manabii wale ambao walikuwa wametabiri wakatumwa nendene mkamuita Mika wakaenda wakamuita Mika na wakaambia Mika wakamuadvise wakamwambia Mika wacha tukwambie wacha hivyo unajifanyaga kimbele mbele wewe eh ujue sisi tumeambiwa sisi wote tumesikia roho na, na mind you Hawa kudanganya walikuwa wamesikia roho lakini roho mgani roho wa uongo I want you to differentiate the true spirit of God and the spirit of lies Praise God wakamwambia ujue tumesikia na ni kweli hawakumdanganya <laughs> Ni kweli hawakumdanganya wakamwambia ujue tumesikia ati mfalme aende vita Mungu yuko pamoja na yeye Basi <laughs> Aka, akasema okay hivyo ndivyo mmesikia eh na mkumbuke Mika anasikia direct eh, direct message yani manabii wakisema hivi yeye tayari ashajua Mungu anasema nini There are people who will not ever compromise you know there are people who will prophesy to you according to what they see with their own bare eyes Kuna mtu anaweza kukuangalia hivi apige mahesabu 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 and, and 3 and 7 and 8 okay one two okay huyu anafaa kuambiwa hivi anakuambia hiyo inaitwa familiar spirit it is not word of wisdom 
Tofauti sha hizo roho mbili. Word of wisdom and a familiar spirit. Familiar spirit hata mtoto mdogo anaweza kukuambia anything kwa sababu ni guesswork. Familiar spirit ni guess obvious. Inaitwa obvious, the obvious. Na wengi ambao hawajui manabii wa Mungu hawajui unabii vile unaendaga tafikiria mpaka hiyo obvious ni roho naongea kumbe sio roho ni mtu amekuangalia tu mtu anakuangalia tu Bwana pewe sifa basi <laughs> I love God Basi Mika akaenda na alipofika mbele ya akaifu, akafika mbele ya mfalme akaulizwa je Mika uh, tunataka kwenda vita na Mungu amesema twende vita tukapigana na Jilad. Lakini tungependa kusikia wewe uko na ujumbe gani? Mika kwa sababu alijua hataki hataki fujo na hataki noma. Lakini yeye alikuwa anajua ukweli. Akasema okay. Pia mimi hivyo ndivyo nilisikia. Muende vita. Mungu yuko na nyinyi. Ahabu akasema Nehemiah amedanganya 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 asa mimi swali yangu nilikuwa najiuliza nikisoma hii historia ya Ahab najiuliza kwa nini Ahab aliona Mika amedanganya kwa nini ameona amedanganya yet anasema hao watu wameisikia roho wa Mungu akinena na wao kwamba yeye aende vitani kwa nini sasa tena anasema Mika amedanganya hali kwamba Mika amepeana ujumbe ule ule ni kwa sababu kuna roho nyingine ilikuwa inamwambia that was not god mika is not speaking about the real spirit so ndipo akamwambia aka mika nataka uniambie ukweli na usinidanganye akaongea aka, 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 aka na sauti kubwa ya kuogopesha mika akamwambia mika nataka uniambie ukweli na usinidanganye wewe mika akamwambia okay unataka kujua ukweli akamwambia yes nataka kujua ukweli sasa naona Jehoshaphat amekaa vizuri, ametengeneza mavazi yake ya vita, amekaa vizuri kusikia. Mika anataka kusema nini kwa sababu Jehoshaphat ako na moyo wa Mungu. Jehoshaphat alikuwa mfalme ambaye ni mcha Mungu. Na Ahab alikuwa a wicked king. A wicked king ambaye alikuwa ameinua miungu ya sanamu the gods of Baal wakiwa na mke wake Jezebel. Na walikuwa na miungu yao ya sanamu na wale manabii walikuwa wanalipwa na wao hata kutabiri actually maandiko yanasema Jezebel alikuwa na manabii wake ambao walikuwa na wao ndio walikuwa namtabiria what she wants praise the name of the lord basi Jehoshaphat akakaa asikie roho wa Mungu atakavyosema ndipo Mika akasema nalimuona Mungu kwenye kiti chake cha enzi mbinguni akiuliza swali ni nani atakaye nisaidia niweze kumuua Ahab Naye roho akasimama akasema ni mimi nitakusaidia nitageuka kuwa roho wa uongo nitaingia manabii wote na watatabiri uongo Akatandikwa kofi tua nao manabii wakamwambia wewe eh wewe wewe unajifanyaga hii wewe wewe huwa gagai we he unajifanyaga wewe tu ndio unasikiaga Mungu Mika akawaangalia hivi akasema mimi niliona mumeenda vitani na nikaona kondoo wametawanyika bila mlinzi. Ahabu akasema huyo Mika akamatwe awekwe kwa jela na nitakaporudi kutoka uh, vitani nitamuonyesha cha mtemakuni. Mika akawekwa kwa jela Bwana apewe sifa. Jehoshaphat na Ahab wakambi sana basi twende vita. Ahab akajifanya mjanja sana. Maandiko yanasema hivi akajifanya mjanja. Ukisoma story ambazo nawaambiaga kila wakati nitakuja kuwasamia za Biblia na nakosa muda story ambazo waziko kwa maandiko lakini ziko story zao story biography ya mtu kabisa hivi ndivyo alikuwa mpaka mwisho wake. Ikasemekana kwamba akamwambia Jehoshaphat tu badilishane mavazi. Can you imagine Mfalme wa Tanzania ndiye anatafutwa na maadui, alafu ameambia mfalme wa Uganda wabadilishane mavazi. Basi watakapoenda kwa vita, si anatafuta yule mwenzake au wawe badala yake. Na Jehoshaphat, I don't know kama ni, ni nguvu za kiganga ama za kichawi izili mfanya akubali kuvaa yale mavazi ya mfalme Ahab. Na akavaa. Lakini kama Mungu hajasema siku yako ya kufa imefika, hawezi kufa. Basi wakawa wanaandamwa na maadui. 
Wakajua mfalme Ahabu ndio yule zile ni nguo zake hizo. Wakamfuata uh, uh, Jehoshaphat kwa mpio wakitaka kumuua Jehoshaphat ina ni, mahali niko nasoma ikasema kwamba Jehoshaphat akainua sauti yake juu akasema Mungu wa Israeli niokoe waliposikia ametaja Mungu wa Israeli wakasema aa huyo sio Ahab Ahab nedoreka such that Ahab awezi kumuita Mungu amsaidie huyo lazima ni mfalme mwingine wacha nini na huyo huyo sio Ahab Bwana asifiwe na kwa sababu Mungu ndiye alikuwa anamkimbiza Ahabu amuue. Bwana apewe sifa. Wale watu <laughs> wakaandama Ahab na Ahab akafia kwenye vita. Lakini ni nani alimuua? Ni Mungu. Ni Mungu. Muogope Mungu maandiko yanasema usimuogope mwanadamu ambaye anaweza kukuua na maisha yako tu yakawa ni kufa yamekufa ila muogope Mungu ambaye anaweza kukuua mwili na pia uhai wako baada ya mauti akauweka kwa moto wa milele daima muogope huyo Mungu usimuogope mwingine yote stand with the righteousness of God praise the name of the Lord Stand in the righteousness of God because when God says I am going to deal with you God is going to deal with you and it doesn't matter it doesn't mean because God is taking too long to beat you up to to punish you you think that Mungu amesahau kwamba ulikuwa umefanya dhambi Maandiko yanasema vizuri sana omba msamaha Mungu akusamehe Usiku na mchana Mungu akusamehe makosa. Manake kazi ya Mungu ni kulipizia. Kazi ya Yesu ni akupatia uzima na wokovu. Lakini mambo ya kulipizia ni ya Jehova Mungu. Na ndio maana anasema I am the avenger of the righteous. Mimi ndiye mtetezi wa wateule. Mimi ndiye upigana vita dhidi ya maadui ya watu wangu. Praise the name of the Lord. When you do something wrong, when you do something wicked, Remember always that Jehovah God in heaven is watching. The Bible says that he is the, uh, the one that waters the seed. Ukishapanda mbegu ile mbegu umepanda kama ni mbegu ya 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 ya, ya uivu, mbegu ya masengenyo, mbegu ya kumuonea mtu na kumnenea uongo, mbegu ya kumuongelelea uongo. Maandiko yanasema yeye ni Mungu ambaye hunyesha mvua na ile mbegu inapata ku, kuwa na ikisha grow praise the name of the lord ikisha grow definitely wakati wako wa kupatwa na Mungu utavuna na hakuna mtu ambaye atakusaidia kuvuna kama ulipanda pilipili zikiota utakwenda kuvuna pilipili na ni lazima utakula zile pilipili kama ulipanda maembe praise the name of the lord kama ulipanda ndimu ah uh, uh. kama ulipanda malimao ah uh. kama ulipanda pilipili gai totireho kama ni vitungu shauri yako utakula zikiwa mbichi hivyo hivyo ndio maana ukifanya makosa usifikirie Mungu amekuona hivyo tu na ameku amesahau Hm Okena okay, gano karohia ono kaigwa uiganire todo kere ora hada yetimera gahedeo we Hm Una furai na unaruka ruka na unasema eh hey, nikaruka alikuwa kanacheza na mimi eh hey, mimi mimi unacheza na mimi 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 nimemdungia finyo mpaka amefutwa job eh Nimemdungia finyo na kuambia na anacheza na mimi atajua hajui na unafurahia unapofanya mabaya unafurahia unapofanya maovu wewe fanya maovu tu lakini kuna ya Mungu ambaye hufanya mvua unanyesha na majira yako ya kuvuna ulicho kipanda yatakuja kwa sababu Mungu ni mwaminifu our god is a faithful god our god is a faithful god Our God is a faithful God. We hada tu, panda tu. Waendelea kupanda. Panda mbegu za kila aina, mbegu za chuki, mbegu za kuonea watu, mbegu za kunenea watu mauongo. Eh, unachukua story ya mtu unaanza kuongea story ya uongo. Endelea kupanda mbegu. Endelea. 
Maandiko yanasema Bwana ndiye mwenye ile shamba na ndiye anafanyaga mvua inanyesha. Maandiko yanasema atakwenda kunyunyizia lile shamba maji na atakwenda kuchipuka. Kile kitakacho chipuka kumbuka kila mtu ambaye hakuona ukipanda ile mbegu manake mtu anapoenda kupanda. Hakuna mtu anakuona. Eh, ukienda kulala na bosi wa mtu ndiye afuta mtu kazi, hakuna mtu anakuona. Si unajificha? Unajificha eh? Eh. Unajificha wewe jifiche tu. Jifiche tu, lakini utajua haujui kama ulikuwa unafikiri unajua. Maki kuna ya Mungu ambaye halali. Kuna ya Mungu ambaye jicho lake liko juu ya wateule. Praise the name of the Lord. Furahi tu. Furahi tu kitenda mabaya. Furahi tu kitenda mabaya. Lakini nakwambia kwamba yupo Mungu. Yupo Mungu. Na nakwambia unafaa kumogopa huyu Mungu manake akija kulipizia. Anakulipa na chondo chako kimeja kimesukumiliwa na kinafurika. Mhm. You're going to you you're, you're going to you're going to 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 reap bountifully. Bountifully. Kila mtu atakuona uliyofanya kama umejificha huko kwa giza na kwambia atatokea kwenye mwanga manake nayo mbegu ikiota ikiwa ulipanda mahindi nje ya nyumba ya mtu itaota tu na itaonekana na mtu ataielea oh okay kama ulipanda mambo ya kijinga jinga tutakuona tu utafurahia muda mchache mimi ni shahidi kwamba Mungu analipiziaga wale watu unyamaza Usifurahi kwamba sasa zile unamchokoza mtu na hakujibu vibaya. Do not rejoice. Ikiwa yule mtu unamkosea na kuangalia tu ama nakwambia Mungu akubariki. Nimeona Mungu vile anafanya mtu akisema Mungu akubariki. Usifurahi. Mfuate yule mtu kamuombe msamaha. Mfuate tu. Manake yeye ni kweli hakuna kitu anaweza kufanya. Lakini je Mungu ambaye ndiye hulipizia wateule? Je huyu Mungu ambaye ndiye hulipizia wateule? Halali. Halali huyo Mungu. Mungu huyo Mungu halali. Gayoshio dako maga. Halali Mungu wetu. Na ninakwambia utakapovuna tutajaribu kukuombea maombi hapa ya dua sijui na nini tukupake na hiyo mafuta ya anointing oil kwa sababu inapakagwa wagonjwa eh? ambao wamefanya dhambi na katika dhambi wakapata magonjwa ya dhambi maandiko nasema kama umepata magonjwa ya dhambi uambie wazee wa kanisa waje wakupake mafuta wa kuombe na guess what maandiko ijasema utapona a uh-uh. hajasema utapona yani ni uamuzi wa Mungu idha akuponye ama akuponye unajua kuna kupona na kupona kuna kupona na kupona kuna kupona urudi duniani na kuna kupona uondoke duniani vyote ni kupona make maandiko yanasema dhambi hufuatwa nyuma na kifo dhambi hufuatwa nyuma na kifo the wages of sin is death the wages of sin is death Dhambi hutokwa nyuma na kifo. So anytime you do anything wrong, I will not follow you. Your pastor will not follow you. Your sister will not follow you. But guess who is at the back of that sin? Death. Tutajaribu kukuombea. Tutajaribu kusema wewe Mungu msaidie. Ati tunasikia melala ICU woi yeye Mungu msaidie Mungu mpe uhai Mungu tunaomba umkumbuke lakini kama ni kifo iko katika kazi yake maake maandiko yanasema kila kitu dunia nzima ni wafanyikazi wa Mungu we are servants of God even death is a servant of God even though death shall be burnt ingawaji kifo kitakuwa cha mwisho kuangamizwa kitawekwa motoni kikiwa cha mwisho kitahukumiwa kifo 
lakini ni mtumishi wa Mungu kifo manake kifo Adamu akaambiwa umetenda dhambi umejua ukweli na, na, na ume, umejua maovu na, 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 na you, you've known good and evil now you shall die praise the name of the lord the consequences of a sin is death is equals to death sin is equals to death so today we you know you know yesterday uh, um, i was saying this jana nilikuwa nasema hivi we are so quick to bind the spirit of premature death and it is not wrong but the question is should we bind the spirit of death that it is at work or should we bind the spirit of sin that causes death praise the name of the lord should we bind the spirit of sins or we should bind the spirit of death that is working contrary to god's word and it will never work tutafunga na kukunywa na tutafanya mambo mengi sana tukifikiria kwamba Mungu atatusikia tutafanya maombi dunia nzima tukikemea roho ya premature death lakini death itatuangalia tu hivi na ituangalie na iendelee na kazi kwa nini kwa sababu kifo kilipewa kazi kifuate dhambi kifo kilipewa kazi kifuate dhambi na mahala popote ambapo pana dhambi kifo kipo Praise the name of the Lord. And that is why you need to avoid sins. Epukana na dhambi, kaa mbali na dhambi. Omba Mungu kila wakati akusamehe dhambi na makosa, kila wakati repent. Repent for your own good. Unajua wakati mwingine tunasema unajua, mimi najua dhambi za wazazi zinafikishwa kwa watoto wao. Sikiza nikwambie, at times it's not even about watoto wao. At times it's about you. Sasa wewe kuna haja gani Mungu amekuleta duniani ukae miaka sabini. alafu unakata maisha yako katika miaka arobaini. haufiki 35 years haufiki kisa na maana umeshindwa kumwambia Mungu naomba unisamehe Bwana asifiwe Unajua watu wana 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 wanakuwa wana mixed up wanapo wana wanapo uh, confuse eternal life na life here on earth eternal life was given by Jesus at the cross when he died for us praise the name of the lord yesu alipokufa msalabani alikufa msalabani kwa ajili ya uhai wetu wa milele baada ya kuishi humo ulimwenguni majina yetu yakaandikwa katika kiganja chake cha mkono bwana apewe sifa tukaandikwa majina yetu akatulipia gharama ya dhambi na ndio maana tunaambiwa mbinguni hatuendi tu kwa matendo yetu ni matendo ya Yesu Kristo it is the works of the cross that will take you to heaven the works of the cross not what you do what you do here on earth is going to give you life here on earth yale unatenda hapa ulimwenguni yatakupatia maisha marefu ulimwenguni Don't confuse eternal life na maisha ya hapa ulimwenguni. Usikubali kuishi na dhambi. Maki ukiishi na dhambi maisha yako yanakatwa. Bwana sifiwe mtumishi wa Mungu Naomi Karanja. Thank you so much mami for watching. Maisha yako duniani inagarimu wewe jinsi utakavyokaa. Inakugarimu wewe. Deni ni ya msalaba imelipwa. Sio ya kuishi hapa duniani. Ya kuishi hapa duniani ni wewe. Ukae mbali na dhambi uishi maisha marefu. Lakini ya, ya, ya uhai wa milele daima daima huo ni Yesu wetu alitupatia na tulipewa huo ni bure. Na ndio maana nakwambia sasa tukiwa hapa ulimwenguni tuna deal na Mungu mwenyewe. Hatu deal na Yesu. Wewe ukikubali Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yako. Kazi ya msalaba inaishia hapo. Mengine ni wewe ukue na tabia nzuri ili uweze kuishi hapa ulimwenguni maisha marefu. That was not in our topic but I guess the spirit of God wanted us to hear that more and above every other thing.
that you don't go to rebuke the spirit of premature death ati 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 tunakemea roho ya watoto wachanga ambao wanakufa tunakemea roho ambayo inaua watu hadharani no usikemee roho ambayo yuko kazini uweze kumkemea mtu ambayo yuko kazini utamkemea na ataendelea na kazi yake ataendelea kuua tu kwa nini yuko kazini ataulizwa na Mungu alifanya kazi gani praise god ataulizwa na Mungu ulifanya kazi gani nilikutuma uka uka ukaue watu kwa sababu wamefanya dhambi what did you do so death is going on killing people because we are living in sins praise the name of the lord death is at work and you cannot stop death death is stopped by you living a righteous life kifo kina tupiliwa mbali unapoishi maisha matakatifu wewe endelea kufanya dhambi endelea kuzini endelea kulala na na wake ambao sio wako endelea kulala na wanaume ambao sio waume zako endelea kufanya uzinzi wa kila aina endelea kuiba endelea kusengenya endelea kufanya kila kitu endelea na homosexuality endelea wewe endelea na kuiba endelea na ulevi gone endelea endelea na prostitution endelea endelea lakini ukweli ni kwamba unapoenenda na huo mwenendo wa dhambi yule mtu ambaye amekufuata nyuma sio mama yako sio dada yako acha nikwambie hizo dhambi zote unaendelea kufanya bila kutubu zote ambazo unaendelea kubila unafanya bila kutubu nikwambie utashikwa na magonjwa utajaribu kutuambia tukuombe tutakuombea hata kama kwa kwa familia yenu kuna dada yako mchungaji ama mama yako ni mchungaji ama baba yako ni mchungaji Mungu hata wasikia hata wasikia Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe hata wasikia kwa nini kwa sababu kifo kiko katika kazi when you are given enough time to repent over your sins you ignored ulianza kusema huyo naye alianza kuhubiri lini mmm huyo naye si tulikuwa tunakunywa pombe na yeye si tulikuwa tunafanya 1 2 3 na yeye si alikuwa boyfriend yangu si alikuwa girlfriend yangu huyo naye asitusikize huyo ndio nani sasa anatuhubiria shauri yako wewe unajua maisha yake ya jana hujui leo yake. Haujui. You don't you don't know anything about anybody's present. Today this day. This day you do not know your friend. You knew them yesterday. Actually what you knew about them in the morning is not who they are right now. Maybe they have repented before the Lord. Maybe they have repented before the Lord. Na wewe unazidi unakaa una, una tunasema unajua weekend itafika nipigie fulani simu tuende unampigia na kuambia nowadays i don't do i don't go out i don't hang out why wewe unajibo unafikiri kuokoka ni kuboeka anakuambia no kuokoka sio kuboeka ndio maana si end out i have chosen to do something else what are you choosing to do relaxing why you don't utaki kwenda hata kunywa mbili for the road uh uh-uh. uh stucky kwa nini kwani pombe ni mbaya sijui mimi kama pombe ni mbaya i just don't want it i've had enough sikunywi kwa nini sikunywi mimi staki pombe first of all pombe ina 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 inakunywa maji ya mwili lazima ujue number one. pombe inakunywa maji ya mwili ya ngozi kwa hiyo inakufanya uchakae. Inakufanya uchakae, unakosa utukufu wa ngozi. Unazeeka kabla wakati wako. Unaanza kusema, "Hey, fulani sijui nini anajipakaga, unakimbia inbox umuuliza anapakaga nini, wedhi na bere kunywa jo hii ule anakunywaga maji." Mineral water. Asi ati ati nini? Ah, hataki tu basi. Atuende out zi. Atwende ku dance zi. Kwa nini? Kwa nini? Kwa nini uliokoka kakuwa mjinga? Well, maybe. 
I'd rather be a fool and live long. I'd rather be a fool and please God. I'd rather not put on mini skirts. Na ngo zingine zime 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 ziko ka uki na machupi yote inaonekana ama tumbo inaonekana. I would rather not do that. I I would live I'd rather live with God. Pombe haija kuongezea kitu kutoka siku zile ulianza kukunywa pombe kiwa mtoto mpaka siku ya leo. Imekuongezea nini? Unajua afadhali ingekuwa pesa unaweka kwa account. At least ungejua kwa account yako ya pesa ya pombe uko na million shillings. Hebu leo kuanzia leo uamue six months sitakunywa pombe kama unajua unakunywaga. Hebu amua six, six months sitakunywa pombe. Utafanya nini? Nitaweka secret account. Hiyo pesa nilikuwa nanunua pombe nitakuwa nikiweka kwa hiyo account. Go see how much you use with things that are not helping you. Vitu ambavyo vinadhoofisha mwili wako na afya yako. Watu wengine walishagonjeka mpaka ugonjwa ya sukari na hata wajiu wako na diabetes. Na bado wanazidi kukunywa hizo mapombe. Ndio maana saa zingine unalalaga usingizie hiishi. You oversleep because you are tired. Your body is tired because you are sick. You are sick. Unaendelea kufanya mambo ambayo hayampendezi Mungu. Sasa baadaye kidini zako zimeanza kuanguka. Eh? Baadaye liva yako imeanza kuanguka. Ndio nakimbia hospitalini na Facebook tukuchangie. Ni sawa tutakuchangia. Bagezo hat hatutakusaidia kuishi. Tutakuchangia. Lakini sisi bwewe ripoti yako anayo Mungu peke yake. Mm. Praise God. Ni Mungu ana ripoti yake wewe mwenyewe. Mm. Acha nini na pombe hizo? Kwanza wasichana kukunywa pombe jameni. Wasichana kukunywa pombe. Nacho nilikuwa nakunywa. It doesn't make you look beautiful. Unafikiri umekonka? Timu napigwa kwa Facebook mko na twine glass hivi mnakunywa na uliza gai. But he Sasa pombe ni kitu ya kuringia unaweka Facebook. Johi na eh na sisha hiyo kitako shisha kana sisha whatever the case i don't know them at unapiga uko na mashisha hizo una una mamoshi zinatoka hizo no una furai ajabu you do not know you are killing yourself baadaye utakuja utuambie kidini zako zime fail liva yako imekufa mm urudi tuambie wewe ni mgonjwa Endelea tu. Endelea. Where you are to? You continue killing yourself. Continue killing yourself. And then utatuambia mnaombewa, mnarudi mnasema pasta wenu. I think pasta wetu anaga anaga nguvu ya kuponya watu kwa sababu si fulani alimwambia kakufa. Sasa kama dhambi <laughs> kama yeye mwenyewe alikuwa punished na dhambi na kifo ndicho kinaandama maisha yake kimumalize. Mm? Hello. Na nyinyi wadada ambao mnavuta sigara. Jeez. Hata wababa ambao mnavuta sigara, kwa nini mnavuta vitu ambavyo vitawaribikia mili yenu? Why do you take poison? Imeandikwa hapo ati ati unakunywa una for your own risk. Mm? Atishisha za Waarabu ndio pombe za Middle East. Mungu wa Mungu wa Mungu wa uhurumie sana. Sikiza nikwambie pasta wenu ako anointed, pasta wenu ana, anaweza kukuombea ukapona magonjwa, lakini kama magonjwa na maradhi ambayo uko nayo maishani mwako yako through sins. Eh, yeye ukona nimehia wekile. Ikafika mahali Mungu akaona okay. Huyu nimempa neema, nimempa neema, amechukulia neema yangu bure. Eh okay. Haya, mimi nimefikisha neema hapo. 
Mali nilikuwa nimemprotect asipate na magonjwa hapa amefika hapo. The rest of her life it is up to her. Na wewe unaendelea kufanya dhambi pale ukimu inakukamata huwa. Unakamatwa na liver huwa. Unakamatwa na kidney huwa. Eh? Unakamatwa na hayo magonjwa. Baadaye tunakuombea unasema sisi hatuna upako ya kuponya. Utaponyaji kazi ya Mungu. Utaiponyaji kazi ya Mungu. Hauwezi ukabishana na Mungu. Chochote Mungu alichokiamurisha kifanye kazi kitakwenda kufanya kazi. Lakini magonjwa na maradhi ambayo hayajaletwa na na, na, na dhambi, huwa yanapona. Bwana apewe sifa. Yesu anaweza kuponya magonjwa ya kila aina, lakini hawezi kuja kukutetea kwa baba yake tena. Alisha kulipia deni ya dhambi. Na uhai ukaupata wa uzima milele. Lakini maisha yako hapa duniani inagarimu wewe tabia zako na jinsi utakavyo mti Mungu ili uweze kuishi na kuona watoto wa watoto wako. Bwana apewe sifa. Usitumie wokovu kiolela holela. Halo. Usitumie wokovu kiolela holela. Wokovu si upumbavu. Umeokoka na nikana kwamba hujaokoka. Mungu mmoja uko kwa Yesu mwingine uko kwa shetani. Unajua hivi sasa hebu niwaambieni. Mnafahamu muna, huu muda wa siasa. Kuna kitu nataka niwaambie. Na ninataka kukuogopesha in a good way so that you may go before the Lord and repent. Do you know there are so many of us? And I'm saying us because we are in the social media. We are so many. Watu wengi sana, namba kubwa sana. Sasa hivi maisha yao wameikatiza. Niulize kwa nini? Maandiko yanasema nini kuhusu wazazi? Waheshimu baba na mama, siku zako za kuishi humo duniani ziongezeke. Ni wazazi wangapi wa kisiasa umetukana na kulaani? Ni wazazi wangapi umewaita mbwa? Ni wazazi wangapi umeita wazimu? Ni wazazi wangapi umekosea heshima? Jicho la Mungu lilikuwa linakuangalia. Bwana apewe sifa. Jicho la Mungu limekuwa likikuona na hiyo ni mbegu ulipanda na unastahili kwenda kuingoa immediately tukimaliza maombi hapa tukimaliza uh, haya mahubiri ninakuomba katika jina la Yesu ukimbia magotini ukaombe msaada kwa Mungu kaombe msamaha kwa Mungu Maake uenda ikawa hautafikisha miaka hamsini kwa sababu ya jinsi ulivyo watukana wazazi wako wale ambao wako kwa politics. Uli watukana kabisa. Na maandiko anasema muheshimu baba na mama yako ili kuishi kwako hapa duniani kurefuke. Praise the name of the Lord. Na watu wengi walisahau wamiokoka na wakawakosea heshima wazazi wetu politicians. Mkaingiwa na hit ya politics, mkasahau kwamba hao ni wazazi wetu. Mkasahau kabisa ni wazazi wetu. Mtu kama Raila Odinga ni mzee wa miaka sabini plus. Ukamtukana ukamlaani na yeye yuko katika siasa yeye ako katika game yake ya siasa president wetu ako na miaka hamsini na tano ukamtukana ukamlaani mpaka sasa hivi bado unazidi kumlaani sikiliza nikwambie maisha yako ya kuishi humu duniani umeyakata mwenyewe ni wakati wako wa kumrudia Mungu na uende unyenyekee mbele za Mungu, uende ulale flat mbele za Mungu, ukambembeleze Mungu akusamehe. Kwa sababu kama aishivyo Mungu roko na mazaya, kama aishivyo Mungu na utakatifu wake, 
Hamna yeyote ambaye alimkosea heshima mzazi ambaye atafikisha miaka sabini. Kama aishivyo Mungu. Kama aishivyo Mungu. Ikiwa umemlaani yeyote baba ya mtu anatosha kukua baba yako, anatosha kukua mama yako. Ukamtusi ukamlaani miaka sabini ni history kwako. Na Mungu atatupa maisha marefu na tutaanza kuona vifo vitakavyofanyika kama hamtatubu. Kama hamtatubu. If you will not repent. If you will not repent. I'm telling you. Umesahau kwamba hawa ni wana siasa. Lakini amri ya Mungu ni amri ya Mungu. Amri ya Mungu inabaki kuwa amri ya Mungu. Na neno la Mungu halivunjwi na yeyote. Na kama sisi ni wamcha, watu wanambao wanamcha Mungu, basi lazima tuandamane na maandiko yanavyosema. Maandiko yanasema muheshimu baba yako na mama yako siku zako ziongezeke humu duniani. Kama ulimlaani Raila Odinga, kama ulimlaani President Uhuru Kenyatta, shauri yako. Shauri yako. Mimi nataka kukukumbusha vizuri sana, it is not too late to repent. It is not too late to repent. Wengi wetu, wengine wetu bwana, God does not judge us so quickly. But guess what? With time. Kabla ufikirie kwamba ni wakati wa kujivinjali na kuenjoy maisha, utajenga nyumba ujenge nyumba. Before ufungue ile nyumba uende ukaishi raha mstarehe, utafariki siku hiyo ya sherehe. Usimchaze Mungu. Eh, hey, naona watu wameanza kuponyoka moja kwa moja. Usi mcheze Mungu. Maandiko ya Mungu yanasema kwamba jicho la Mungu linaangalia kote dunia nzima likiangalia ni nani huyu ambaye anatimiza neno langu nikambariki. Nikalitimize. Actually neno linasema nikalitimize neno langu. Ni nani huyu? Nikalitimize neno. Na kama aishivyo Mungu, tafadhali. It is your higher time to repent. Mimi nimekuambia tu hivyo miaka sabini, it is not guaranteed. It is not guaranteed. 70 years. Unajua mafa, baba yangu amefariki na miaka sabini na tisa. Namshukuru Mungu wa mbinguni. Ameumpa baba yangu uhai. Miaka sabini na tisa. Miaka ya Mungu na akaongezewa na Mungu miaka tisa. Maki Mungu amesema miaka sabini ndio miaka ya watu. Ukiishi vizuri, maandiko yanasema ukiishi vizuri utafika miaka sabini. Akaongezewa miaka tisa. Namshukuru Mungu wa mbinguni kwa hiyo zawadi ya miaka tisa. ya aliyompa babangu. Mamangu alifariki kabla hajafikisha miaka sitini. I believe there must be a consequence of her death. Ni lazima kuna kitu alimfanyia Mungu maisha yake yakakatika kabla hajafikisha miaka sabini. Na kama mimi siwezi kuona mama yangu ni mfeve katika neno la Mungu, I will not favor myself either. Acha nasema azungumza mazuri kuhusu mtu amekufa, mm. If my mother did something before God that made her not to go, I mean to go before her 70th year. She must have done something. Na roho ya kifo ikamwandama ikamchukua. Nina kuombea Mungu zaidi. Ukajua maandiko yanavyosema. Ukaangalia majira ambao tuko ndani yake. Ukaangalia season ambazo tuko ndani yake na ufikirie jinsi ya kujibu. Kama mwenyewe haujaongea engage your mind first. Jiulize hivi, nikisema hivi, Mungu atasema nini? Hivi Mungu, Mungu anataka nifanye nini kupitia hili swala? 
Bwana pe sifa. Sio kukaa tu na fungua kinywa chako na kuna kutoboka utumbo. Eh? Eo kwa imamara, you know, kutoboka utumbo unatoa ma- harufu ambazo a- a- ambazo zi- zimeoza ndani yako. Nina kuambia maneno mazito ambao sio watu wengi wanaweza kusema. Not everybody can gather all that courage to talk about kifo in that manner. But the truth is ni watu wengi sana wa hii generation yetu miaka sabini hawataiona. Ni history. Hawataiona. Na Mungu wetu aturehemu. Mungu aturehemu. Mungu wetu aturehemu. Mungu wetu aturehemu. Mungu aturehemu. Mungu aturehemu. Watu wanafikiri mnaweza tukanana, tuwe ni mchungaji, unatukanana vile unafikiria kwa sababu ni wakati wa siasa. <laughs> siasa haziishi. Mungu yupo. Aliyekuajiri kazi yupo. Na maandiko anasema nini? Yesu Kristo anakuja kama ameshikilia kazi uliyofanya mkononi mwake. Husio wakati wa kumchukia ndugu yako. Husio wakati wa kusema yule ni mjaluo yule ni mkikuyu. Huu ni wakati wa kuonyesha mapenzi ya Mungu Baba. Mapenzi ya Yesu Kristo. Bwana tupewe sifa. Ni wakati wa kumuinua Mungu. Ni wakati wa kukua very careful. Hizo rest in peace zinaandika kwa Facebook. I'm sorry to say in 10 years zitakuwa nyingi sana kama watu hawatatubu. Eh mtakuwa mkisema gai huyo si alikuwa rafiki yangu Facebook, gai sio alikuwa rafiki yangu, gai sio alikuwa rafiki yangu. Spread love. Spread love. Ukikuta hao wazazi wameongea vitu mbaya ambazo zinachukiza zinaumiza moyo wako maandiko yanasema be not anxious for over anything but in everything take it to god in prayer praise the name of the lord but in everything take everything to god in what in prayer and he that giveth the peace that surpasses all human understanding he will make your heart feel peaceful But do not call anybody any name. Don't mess up your life because of a politician. He's living his life. They are living their lives. Don't mess up your life because of a politician. Praise the name of the Lord. Usi mess up maisha yako kwa sababu ya politician. Kila mtu na msalaba wake. Kama mtu amefanya dhambi zake za kisiasa kuna zile dhambi amefanya hata deal na Mungu mwenyezi sio sisi hata deal na Mungu that god in heaven is going to pay them exceedingly bountifully what they have planted yesterday we were talking about the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 and, 20, and through 34 and i want to finish with that because i said i'm going to finish it today I'm going to read it a little bit kwa sababu niko karibu kumaliza. For this reason I say to you do not be worried about your life as what you will eat or what you will drink nor for your body as to what you will put on. Is not life more than food? Usijali kwa sababu ya nguo ambazo hauna za kuvaa, usijali uh, maisha ambayo unaishi. Uh, Maandiko yanauliza je, uhai si cha, kitu cha thamana kuliko mavazi? Wewe unajali kuhusu maisha yako ya kesho. Maandiko yanauliza ukiendelea kusoma hapa yanakuuliza wewe kwa sababu unaonekana unajali sana kuliko kuhusu maisha yako na unajisumbukia sana. Can you be able to add an hour to your life? That's what the Bible is asking. The word of God is asking, je unaweza kuongezea lisali moja la maisha yako? Answer ni hapana. Basi kama ni hapana, 
acha kusumbuka. Praise the Lord. Acha kusumbuka, muamini Mungu, mtumainie Mungu. Bwana apewe sifa. Acha kusumbuka. Look at the birds of the air that they do not sow nor reap nor gather into barns and yet heavenly father feeds them are you not worth much more than they wewe si zaidi ya ndege ambaye havuni hapandi bwana apewe sifa halimi lakini mungu humpa chakula mungu anauliza wewe sio zaidi wa ndege ya angani mbona wewe unajisumbukia mbona unajisumbukia mbona umejaa na huzuni mbona unajisumbukia kesho inakusumbua inakusumbua kwa nini niko mikononi mwa bwana Bwana pe sifa. Tuendelee kusoma. And who of you by being worried can add a single hour to his life? Of course nobody. We cannot Lord. We are sorry Lord for complaining. And why are you worried about clothing? Observe how the lilies of the field grow. Atiangalia maua yanavyoota. Mbona unashangaa una unashtuka hauna mavazi? Muangalie yale maua jinsi yanavyo yanavyo yanavyopendeza. Mandiko anasema they do not toil nor do they spin yet I say to you that not even Solomon in all his glory clothed himself like one of these Ati angalia maua jinsi yanavyopendeza na hata Suleimani ambaye alikuwa tajiri ajabu Mandiko anasema asingaliweza ku afford kujivika mavazi ya yale maua Yaani Mungu akiangalia maua anaona yanapendeza kuliko haya mavazi yetu Anasema hakuna mtu ambaye anapendeza kama yale maua. Nini? Mimi Mungu anataka kuambia I can dress you up. Trust me. I am your God. I can dress you. Praise the name of the Lord. I can take care of you. Glory to God. I will surely take care of you. Look at my son kama upita ji. <laughs> Unakuja late why are you son? Okay, tuendelee kusoma. You of little faith. Okay, nitarudi nyuma kidogo. Yet I say to you that not even Solomon in all his his glory clothed himself like one of these. But if God so clothed the grass of the field which is alive today and tomorrow is thrown into the furnace, will he not much clothe you? Of course he will. Thank you Lord. Uh, you of little faith, do not worry then saying what will I eat? Or what will we drink? Or what we will wear for clothing? For the Gentiles eagerly seek all these things. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. I love God. But seek first the kingdom of God. Hey! And his righteousness. That's my favorite word right there. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added to you. So do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will care for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Praise the name of the Lord. Each trouble has its own day, has its own struggles. Wewe unatamani mavazi mazuri? Unatamani kuendesha gari nzuri, unatamani kuishi nyumba nzuri, unata, una, yani si hata kutamani tu. Unasumbuka. Gatwalidhi ya gari teori. Gari ya mushi toshi yole, nitawaipata nyumba kama hiyo lini, nitaendesha gari kama hiyo lini. Mm? Account yangu itakuwa na pesa kama hizo lini. Nitavaa kama hivyo lini. When? When? The Bible says stop being anxious over anything. Because if you seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness everything you need will come running unto you praise the name of the Lord because there is no difference of a pagan and you Ikiwa wewe unajisumbukia utavaa nini utakunywa nini unasumbuka you are anxious Unasumbuka nitakula nini nitavaa nini kesho kutakuwaje baada ya uchaguzi kutakuwaje sijui nini sijui nini maandiko yanasema utafute kwanza ufalme wa Bwana Utafute ufalme wa Mungu. <laughs> eh? Utafute ufalme wa Mungu. Utafute. And all that you need shall follow you. They will come running unto you. I love the version that says, they will come running unto you. 
Ikiwa ni mavazi, they will look for you. Ikiwa ni afya bora, mm. Bwana atakwenda kukupa, Bwana asifiwe. Ikiwa ni mume, ikiwa ni mke mzuri, oh my, they will look for you. Stop looking for them. Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything that you need will come running unto you. Praise the name of the Lord. Isn't God good? Are we going to shun away from the spirit of anxiety? Tutakaa mbali na roho ya anxiety, roho ya uoga, ya hofu. Una hofu nini? Mtakula nini? Taishije? Isn't God so good? Praise the name of the Lord. Isn't God so beautiful? He's such a beautiful God. Worthy of all the glory. Praise the name of the Lord. This is the best God ever. Let me tell you something. Anybody that is believing anything else apart from this God that we speak about, hmm, they don't know what they are missing. Because our God is a great God. Worthy of all the glory and honor and adorations. He's worthy to be adored, worthy to be exalted. Hallelujah. It is awesome to be in the presence of God. It is awesome to obey the voice of the Lord. And everything that we have heard today, heed to it, act upon it. Because God does not like people who hear and they don't do what they hear. God loves people who hear and does the, the what they have heard. The Bible says, do not be a listener, be a doer of the word of God. So today we've heard that if you know you have been disrespecting parents, your life is going to be shortened, not by anybody else, but by what you did. The word of the Lord says, Waheshimu baba na mama, siku zako ziongezeke, kumbuka repent. And as you repent, repent for the whole nation. Because everybody has been calling each other names. Actually, in Maombi, it was Saturday, Sunday, I mean, um, Nakuru. Nili mshukuru mungu, wa, mungu sana. Because siku sikia matusi, siku sikia anything, praise the name of the Lord. Siku sikia chochote ambacho kinatoka uweponi mwabwana like away from the, from the presence of God. Everything was in line to the politicians and the pastors and everything. Disciplined. And actually, if you have been careful, shikuhizi, how they are talking, they are so kind. Yani ni kama gafla wa meokoka. Roho wa mungu yuko ndani yao, yuko juu ya maisha yao. Ame badilisha vinyo vyao, wali wako wanatukanana, watukanani. Wali wako wanazungumza, wanagonga vifua, hawagongi vifua. What do I say now? The hand of the Lord is upon this nation. If this nation shall not burn. Hallelujah. And if kama we ni mzalendo wa Kenya, inchi ya Kenya, wewe ni mzalendo, unastahili kuombea inchi ya Kenya amani. Usiombe vurugu vitoke. Make vurugu vikitoke, ahujui kama mama yako atakufa hapo. Vurugu zikipo, zikit, zikitoke, usifikiria familia yako imefichwa. Praise the name of the Lord. Ukianza kuomba mabaya ya tendeke, usifikiri kwenu kwa sabu ni ushago mbali. Watu wata kufa. We? Watu walikuwa na kuto 2007 nyumbani kwa wanachomewa majumba huko. Na wameka ushago kule ndani. Huko ndio vita inakuwaga imekolea. Usiringa ringi useme mimi kwetu. Hei mimi kwetu siju ni ushago siju wapi. Haa huko kwezi. Huko tunakaka bila zetu tu. We, nimekusalimia. Accident haina, haina ninja. Ati hei, mazemi ni ninja. Me overcome your accident. No. Moti no dole jaba. It has no general. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Kama ni kuangamia, ni inchi itangamia. Kama ni uchumi, kuaribika, hata wewe. Unga ikiuzo miambili, utakuwa kinunua miambili. Si kwa sababu wewe ulichongea vita ati wewe ndo utanunua shilingi kumi, wale wengine wanunue mbili No. No. Kaza tujue vizuri sana. Tuliambo vizuri sana tulipokuwa tunasoma shule. 
kwamba ndovu wawili wakipigana au nyati wawili wakipigana chochote kile wale wanyama wakipigana ni nyasi huumia sisi wananchi ndio tutakaye umia so if you are there in your sober mind unaomba nchi ya Kenya itoke moto Mungu akurehemu sana Mungu akuhurumie sana na akusamehe huo upumbavu make ni upumbavu You don't care about anybody when you pray for Kenya to burn and I'm talking about those people who are in diaspora because we are taking any manner of things we don't we are not even thinking before we talk Unaongea ni kama kwamba utawairudi Kenya. Basi kama unajua unakaa ngambo na watu wairudi Kenya, nyamaza. Mind your own business wherever you are. Ombea hiyo inchi ambayo umefanya ni inchi yako. Leave Kenya's business alone. Usiongee kama mtu ambaye hajali. Mtu anakuja kwa inbox anakuingaringia, unamuuliza, "Hey, wewe unaishi America? Do you really even care about Kenya? Do you care?" Arani ambe for the time being I don't care. And I'm like come on go back to Kenya and tell me that when you're in Kenya. But don't talk like someone's the devil's agent. You don't care go back to Kenya and tell me you don't care when you are there. Unataka watu waandamane enda ukawaandamane na wao ukakufe na uende hapo line ya mbele ukue bullet proof yao. Chuo unaambia watu hey, they can go for it they can go for it ni nini Kenya kikiacha kikiumana kiki kiumane seriously no kwa abroad God have mercy on us I'm going to finish with the book of 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7 says cast casting all your anxiety on him because he cares for you Praise the name of the Lord casting all your anxiety <coughs> because he cares for you mpe bwana shida zako matatizo yako mpe bwana masumbuko yako masumbufu yako and he will take care of you let's pray everlasting father in the mighty name of jesus we thank you we glorify your name lord for giving us such a beautiful evening service Thank you for rebuking us Lord and thank you for showing us the way. Receive all the glory and honor and adorations Lord. Holy Spirit of God I pray for each and every one of us Lord. All that Lord you will heal our hearts. Help us Lord to reason. Help us Lord to think. Father God, the word that we have received tonight We pray that God we will obey it O Lord. We will do as the word ask of us O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God enable every one of us to obey the word of God. Keep reminding us Lord that we need to engage our minds before we talk. So that Lord it shall be well with our utterances O Lord. Forgive those Lord who have Jehovah God who have Jehovah God sinned against us and we pray that they will forgive us too O Lord purify us O Lord cleanse us Lord and above all Lord I pray that you will forgive us the sins of disrespecting our elders O Lord Father God I pray anybody O Lord that had tampered with their lives lord because of engaging themselves lord in disrespectful way and and manner of talks oh lord i pray the lord you will forgive each one of us please god please lord please lord please lord we ask for forgiveness We ask for forgiveness, Lord. We want to see the children of our children, Lord, as they grow. Father, do not judge us our stupidity. Oh Lord, we pray that you overlook it, God. Forgive us, Lord. 
Forgive us, Lord, and take away every calamity. Oh, every spirit of death that has been following us because of the sins we have committed before thee, Lord. We repent before thee, O oh God. We repent before thee, Lord, and we receive the life that is given by Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Lord. Declaring that, God, we are going to live in obedience to your word. Because we know, God, if we obey you, Lord, we are going to live longer in this world for the glory and honor of your name. Thank you for this service, Lord. Thank you for those Jehovah God who would not know you, God, and they would like Jehovah God to give their lives to Jesus today. Father God, I pray that you will accept, Lord, their hearts back, O oh God, unto you, Lord. Jehovah, I pray that they will receive you, Lord, as their personal Savior, O oh God. I pray that they will declare thy goodness. I will declare your mercy, Lord, and declare you as their Lord and Savior, O God, for the glory and honor of your name. Remember Kenya and heal our land. We, Jehovah God, ask for forgiveness for each and every one of us, from the President, Lord, to the unborn baby. Father, what we have declared and what we have spoken, Lord, contrary to your word, O oh God, we pray for your cleansing power, the Spirit of God of holiness, O oh God, to purify us, Lord God Almighty, with the blood of Jesus. And Lord, we pray that let your Spirit work, Lord God Almighty, upon each and everyone's heart, O oh Lord. And we pray to be led by your Spirit, O oh God because you are our father and our god tukwa usukani mungu tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya amani ya nchi yetu tunakushukuru kwa sababu umekuwa mungu mwema sana bwana tunakushukuru kwa sababu tutakuwa na uchaguzi mwema tunakushukuru bwana kwa sababu amani itadumishwa nchi yetu tutafurahia amani yako bwana tutafurahia utajiri nchi yetu tutafurahia watalii watarudi nchi yetu businesses zitarudi nchi yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu. Tunakushukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya kuwa tu ondolea, ondolea la dhambi Bwana. Asante Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu. Pokea sifa, utukufu na shangwe kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu. Chukua usukani Mungu Baba, Mungu Mroho na Mungu Mwana. Tunakushukuru Baba. Ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen and amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. See you tomorrow the same time. Evening service again. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May your walk under open heaven. And I kindly ask you to pray for me. Be praying for me. Vita ni nyingi sana. Vita ni nyingi sana za kiroho. Vita ni nyingi sana za kiroho. Mtu narushiwa mishale all over. But I trust in the Lord. I trust in the Lord that has called me to protect me. I ask you, anytime you go to pray, na tafadhali usiwai lala kama hujaomba tafadhali usiwai kula chakula kama hujaomba tafadhali ukiamuka asubuhi hata kama una time tell god thank you lord for this new day this is the day prophesy to yourself this is the day that the lord has made that i may rejoice and be glad in it i i grab my gladness today i i receive my gladness today i receive the greatness of today and no weapon fashioned against the gladness and the joy of the lord today in my life in Jesus name be a prophet of yourself and by that hakuna mtu atakuja kukudanganya the lord bless you the lord keep you thank you youtube i love you i love you